fine, man. I'll just uh, I'll puncture these two uh, today. I got to walk down there today. I got to download more of uh, responded paperwork to deal with old Faber. <laughs> Wondering if I have any sense. I'm glad you like that song. Something tells me I'm a fool. <laughs> To let you treat me so cruel. Nevertheless, I say again, you got me waiting, sitting in the park, waiting for you. <laughs> Just waiting here for you. <laughs> Something tells me I'm a fool. You heard the song, right? It's really good. Billy Stewart, I prefer GQs, but Billy Stewart is really sweet, too. They're both good. Okay, so I'm sitting in the park waiting for you, girl. Yeah. <laughs> Wondering if I have any sense. <laughs> Something tells me I'm a fool. And she's waiting in the garden and you just ain't coming. <laughs> well, you can't have peace with him until you come have peace and be a real man. You know what the truth is. I mean, I don't have to sit there and go, dude, just admit it. And, yeah, I can just let it go. I'll just stay here, hide behind my paperwork, and you know, I'll try my best to be the best fucking cleaver ever, so no one ever, this, I'll be the best man ever, and I won't do anything bad ever again. Just get me through this one, Lord. I'm trying, man. Come just admit that you're wrong. No, I'm not, you're not my Lord. I'm talking to Jesus. Yeah, I know. I told you, don't talk to Jesus anymore unless you want to get his obnoxious nephew. No, I'm talking to the Lord. I am the Lord. Lord of Lords, King of Kings. I'm Jesus. I'm just kidding. I'm not Jesus. You wrote it in my thing. It says he's Jesus Christ. No, I'm Ralph Earl Parsons Jr. I'm his nephew. It works through me now. That means you're saying you're Jesus. No, Jesus is Jesus. You don't understand relativity. Let's work. Let's do this real slow one more time. Okay. Jesus is Jesus and Ralph is Ralph. David is David and Jesus is Jesus. Moses is Moses and Ralph is Ralph. Blaze is Blaze and Adam is Adam. Do you get it now? No, you're being a smart ass. Yes, I'm being a very big smart ass because you don't understand relativity. You don't understand molecular transfiguration. And you don't understand what they refer to as reincarnation. You cannot reincarnate because you cannot reincarnate to what you already are. Study basic yoga understanding. You don't have the same body. Every three years you have a new body and it reforms and the new molecules are replaced. And it's like you can never sit in the same river twice. <laughs> this sounds a lot like Judy Christian Marty and... and uh, um, and Bruce Lee, that's because Bruce Lee studied Judo Krishnamurti, and Judo Krishnamurti is a molecular scientist. <laughs> no, he's not. Yes, he is. He's talking to Jonas Salk, who, who's here. <laughs> and Ram Rahm and a bunch of other guys that are really smart, <laughs> because it's how God works through things. God works through all people and all things. King David, one on one. God works through us. <laughs> yeah, but Jesus is God. Jesus is the proof of life, which shows you that there is a God. It's a math equation proof. It's the same thing with Krishna. They're doing the same thing with Krishna, and they turned him into God, too. Krishna is the proof of life, as are you. So, therefore, you are, too, but you act less like it than Krishna does, than Jesus does, and then Ralph does. Ralph is a cool guy. You want to be nice to him now, Peter? Or do you want me to come back? <laughs> I'm a soldier, bitch. Don't fuck with me. I can talk nice and sweet, but I can bring hell on the hill, bitch. I don't like it. I didn't want to volunteer for it. I had to take care of my family the same way everybody else does that joins the military nowadays. Ralph did it because he had to try to have a family and take care of his family. We're extorting, extorting, extorting them. We're not real good at making money. We don't give a fuck about making money. We just love people. We're just like that. Thanks, Cyrus. Don't mention it. Cyrus is real. Jim Carrey's not. Neither's Will Smith, right? Peter? Will Smith's not a real person, even though a real sight of his friended on me on Facebook. But he's not real. But Cyrus is real. Oh, no, you haven't seen Cyrus, so he doesn't exist. No, he'll disappear. He might. They can make anybody disappear. They can do whatever they want. This is the United States of America. We can make it as if you never existed. Yeah. You're just gone. You're just this crazy stuff on YouTube, and then we can find another person that looks a lot like you, pass him off as you, and parade him through the streets and say, this was him, this was the guy you guys all like so much. What do we do with other one? We killed him. That's why they keep telling me in the Middle East, you're just a clone. A what? I'm a clone? Damn, you got to be put in the back of a car or a trunk, making a movie with Jennifer Lopez for four hours. I want to be a clone. No, a clone. Oh, you mean a clone? Do I still feel what I'm feeling now? Right. Can I be a Clooney? <laughs> Can I get shoved in a trunk? <laughs> I'm just kidding around. It's funny. Oh, for crying out freaking loud, you people have no sense of humor. No, it's well. 
it's, it's me, man. I was raised with the Commodores, you know, just to be close to you, girl. Just for the moment, baby. And Walter testified, well, <laughs> Lionel goes, okay, well, just for an hour. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Y'all ain't funny. Y'all ain't got no sense of humor. You're so damn uptight, man. It's like on freaking Ferris Bueller, man. Tyler's Cameron is so uptight. You could take a lump of coal, shove it up his ass, and in a week he'd have a diamond. <laughs> He's got to chill. <laughs> Y'all like that, man. We're going to die. Everybody's going to die. Everybody's got a bomb. We could all die any day. So I'm going to party my life away. <laughs> yeah, just party my life away. And fuck shit up even further. Yeah. <laughs> So they can buy more bombs and shit. Yeah! I'm gonna make sure I sell lots of records, fuck lots of women, make lots of money so they can make more bombs so we have all more bombs and I'm all part of my life away. Damn, you rich people. Fuck! We're smarter than everybody else, though. We're looking for true faith and true God, and we got Kabbalah, and we got this, and we got everything. And we know better, and we're going to change the world for everybody, and we're going to have a better world. <laughs> we're going to have people sell books and tell everybody how to a better world and do this and this. Why? Because if you have lots of money, you can sit down and tell people how to think, and then they can have a better world. Bitch! I'm going to have a better world. My better world is sitting there and finding something to drink and listen to my tunes and roll around and find some people just to talk to and hang out and party with so I can have an entourage like you so I can have some people that will fuck me at a drop of a hat. Come and talk to me and make me feel better. I don't have that. I'm not like you. I'm not as talented as you. I'm not as pretty as you. I'm not as funny as you. I'm just an average guy trying to get along in this world where they fucking extort me and take all my fucking time so in my free time I just want to get wasted and forget that I have no time, I have no entourage, and I have no girl to make love to. I got a dog named Zeke. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I sing. I pray and I cry. And like that one lady said, this is a good thing. Just get on here and say whatever's on your mind. And just, no, man. Why? I got a better mind than you. <laughs> Not like you. I'm just venting to feel better. No, I could find better things to feel better. I could shut the fuck up. <laughs> I could shut the fuck up. I could. I feel even better if I went into my little chicken butt, chicken butt, chicken butt pie world because I could do it. I feel even better. Pay my extortion, get my car. My feet would feel better. If I had my glider, she gave that away too. Damn. I could still do my walking and running in my back, clean this place up, do my running back drills. Forget about the kids. I'm going to be free for them. Footloose and fancy free financially. I'm 46 years old. I'm free. I'm retired from extortion. I have just myself to take care of. I have my Patrick. I'm going to get separated from those kids. I'm wanting to see them. They'll act like I don't even do this. They'll do the same thing that the Gellerts did with me with Patrick. And the Favre's will do it with me too. But I'll be free from any financial obligation because I can prove that they're not my genetic children. So I'll just be free. <laughs> I love good hell. I get myself in shape. I'm attractive. I got a good man. I can talk. I can talk about stuff you want to talk about, not stuff that I really feel it needs personal to talk about, about the, the, the stuff that's happening in the world. I can talk about. I can talk about anything. I can talk about what's happening on America. I can analyze it with you real intelligently and beautifully. I can sit down and tell you whatever you want to hear and whatever you want to talk about. I can anticipate what you're thinking and what you're saying and what you want to talk about. So you will have sex with me as humanly as much as humanly possible. I can decide if I need to ease in, come in, come back, how to play you like a fucking yo-yo and do all the tricks and everything like that, make you come till the come comes down, dripping down your knees, I can make you feel like the most special girl in the whole fucking world if I set my mind to it. I've already told you guys this. Do you under-fucking-stand me? I'm not as hot as I could be right now. I could be hotter if I took the time not to walk down there, shut the fuck up, shut down my Facebook, shut everything down. All I'd have to do is just clean it up and re hit myself in the beginning because they can control access to any and every all information. Why would I keep my YouTube up? I don't have to. Once I sign the children away, I don't need any of it on there to say shit about Fabric and his fucked up wife and his fucked up daughter and how they're fucking up my life fucked up my kid's life because they're complete fucking selfish, ingrate assholes. And that's just because they choose to be. They don't have to be. They can be beautiful people. All they have to do is choose to be more beautiful and choose to make peace. But they don't want to. We're just going to hide. we got more money. We'll just keep doing this. We'll keep hiding. We'll hide all this shit under the rug. It'll never be there. There's a pile a mile high and it smells like complete shit in here. No, it's not there. We're the cleanest people in the world. This is the cleanest house. And we'll just go ahead and... And it never happened. It's in a landfill. No, that wasn't us. We didn't make all that nuclear waste. No. We'll just put it in a tube and send it out into space. It'll go to the sun and it'll start to go supernova. No, it won't. It wasn't our fault. Well, when it goes boom, who cares? We'll all be dead. <laughs> we never did anything wrong. Fuck! 
you people are retarded. Yeah, but we're retarded, living better than you, got more money, got a better reputation, and get to do what we want. We get to fuck people and get away with it. It's a turn on. <laughs> Come on, I'm going to talk Brad Barnett and masturbate in front of me. I'm going to talk all these guys and masturbate in front of me. I'm going to masturbate in front of them. You're not going to catch me, and it never happened, and then I'm going to have great sex with you because I can fuck around on you, and you don't see it happening, and you don't catch me, and you just don't get it. You're a pathetic Ralph Earl as Parsons Jr., and I'm not. I'm Amy Fabre. I love you, too. Blessings and peace.